In this next segment, we're heading out into the field to get a better look at how public land and the DNR staff who manage it fit squarely within deer management. We know public land, and we can tell you with certainty that with over 7 million acres of it in Wisconsin, we and the deer who call it home are incredibly lucky. Welcome back to another segment of Wild Wisconsin. Today, myself and wildlife biologist Bill Hogseth are out here on a piece of public land, and that's what we're gonna be talking to you guys about. If I am a person that's not familiar with public land in Wisconsin, kind of give me an overview, Bill. One of the great things about public lands in Wisconsin is that you really can find any habitat that you're looking for. Um, anywhere from the northern forest way up near Lake Superior all the way down to southern Wisconsin where you have savannas and prairies. We really, public lands in Wisconsin runs the spectrum of habitat types. So there's something for everybody in it. And we have more than 7 million acres of public land in the state uh, on federal lands, state lands, and county lands. Uh, and they're all managed by uh, professional staff and biologists um, uh, to improve the habitat quality on those lands. So a lot of opportunities out there for people to explore and find something that fits what they're looking for. Yeah, you know, at the hunting public, our business, what we try to do is raise that awareness mm -hmm. that uh, there is, you know, opportunity everywhere. And in Wisconsin, like you said, tons of it. There's lots of opportunity, accessibility, and that's what we like, especially yeah. because we do most of our hunting on public land. Right. One of the great things about public lands is that we're managing those lands. We're taking funds that are generated from like the turkey stamp uh, program and other hunting license fees, and we're putting them back out onto the landscape, and we're doing activities like uh, timber harvests. We're also planting food plots like apple trees, and we're also doing prescribed fire to uh, regenerate the vegetation out there and improve that habitat and provide those opportunities for hunters and non-hunters as well. There's something out there for people who are looking for birds or who are just looking for solitude as well. Um, seven million acres of land in the state is a, a lot, lot to explore. Yeah. And I think once people start looking uh, for lands around where they live, they'll find a lot of opportunities, uh, whether it's voluntary public access land, managed forest land, state wildlife areas, or county forests. So we're talking about what public land means to us. What's it mean for the wildlife? Well, you know, there's a lot of wildlife in Wisconsin that needs lots of different habitats. If you're something like a woodcock or a grouse, you need a younger forest type of habitat, uh, whereas other animals need older forest habitat. Other animals like pheasants uh, need grassland habitat. Um, so by providing all those different habitats through management, uh, we're able to make sure that the different species have the different habitat types that they do need and so that their populations stay healthy and so that folks who are pursuing those species or wanting to see them or just enjoy them, um, that they're available out there on the landscape. So Wisconsin has seven million acres seven million and acres. I'm someone who's ready to get out and explore, do a little scouting, what do I do? I would start by going to our website, dnr.wi.gov, and there's the PAL Atlas that is an interactive tool that folks can explore all the different parcels of land that might be near them. That's a great place to start. And I just encourage everybody to get out there and explore your public lands from northern forests to oak savannas. There's something for everybody. If you're not near your computer, you can always turn to your smartphone. We've developed a new mobile app to help you find public lands near you. Hunt Wild Wisconsin is what you want to search for, and that's an interactive tool as well. And just want to remind everybody that these are actually your lands. This belongs to everybody in the state of Wisconsin. These are your license dollars and stamp dollars going back into the landscape. Helping, uh, helping you find places to hunt, helping wildlife places to find habitat. Yeah, get out there and use it. I gotta tell you, it was great being in the field with Bill. It's amazing how much public land we have here in Wisconsin. It's open for all types of outdoor activities. As a hunter, it's important to recognize the work that goes into making those properties such a great place for wildlife. If you're interested in seeing more, we'll be back with Bill in a bonus segment to cover our favorite public land hunting tips. And as always, be sure to tune into the DNR Off the Record podcast for more.